Hello Enchanted Ones, and welcome back. Today I will be showing you five different ideas to celebrate Yule and the winter solstice. Ways you can celebrate either very subtly or very extravagantly. So I do hope you find something right for you. Before we begin, if you are new, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. But for now, relax and keep on watching. The winter solstice and Yule is all about celebrating the shortest day of the year and welcoming the sun back for longer days. For thousands of years now, it has been traditional to celebrate this by surrounding ourselves with light and life from the forest to help remind us of the evergreens of winter, but also the return of spring. It is a time we can look forward and set intentions for the rising of the spring, but also a time we could give back to nature for the cycle of seasons it has given us this past wheel of the year. As we go through these ideas, you will see how versatile they can be and also how you can customise them to suit you. But remember, enchanted ones, all you really need is yourself. These ideas are simply here to help you harness your intention in a way that is meaningful to you. We will start with an idea that is simple yet rewarding, planting a seed or a bulb. This idea could be as simple as planting a bulb to have new life and energy in your house, but if you'd like to, you could also set an intention for spring. The idea is, before you sow the seeds or bulb, hold them in your hand and think of what you'd like to bring in your life with the rising of the spring. And once they start to grow, so will the intention you have set. I am planting an indoor herb garden and planted my favorite herbs, coriander, basil, and parsley. You could also plant daffodils or any bulb that arises in the spring. Place them on a windowsill with light and the sun will work its magic on your new babies. Idea number two is again simple yet powerful. Lighting a candle. Lighting a candle, whether it be one or ten, can be very symbolic and powerful this time of year as you are symbolising and recreating the energy of the sun. A flame takes a lot to keep burning, so think of it this way. Whatever you are thinking or saying whilst this candle is burning, its energy is harnessing it into the universe. Not only can you light a candle, but also oranges were traditionally used as a symbol of the sun. I love drying oranges this time of year. They brighten everything up and make the house smell incredible. I simply cut thin slices of orange and sprinkled them with cinnamon as this is seen as a symbol of protection. I then place them in an oven of moderate temperature and bake until dry. Do keep checking on them as they tend to burn easily. After they are finished, I like to do multiple things with them, whether it be putting them on the tree, hanging them on the window for light to shine through, or using them at my altar. And here I use them in a simple ritual. To do this ritual, I first write an intention on a small piece of paper, placing an orange slice on top of this, and then using evergreens and cinnamon, build up the symbol of a sun, placing the items in whatever way I am drawn to. But you don't have to use evergreens at all. If you prefer, crystals work beautifully. Or, my personal favorite, items I have gathered this past year. Working with these items again brought me joy and nostalgia as I've already built up such energy with them. Whatever way you decide to recreate this, it is a great way of placing your intention into the universe by harnessing it with the energies of these items that surround them and the symbolism of the sun. But I had other plans for this little rose. I wanted to give it back to nature. This past year, I have gathered so much nature and it has no other purpose now than to just sit on the shelf. So I thought, 
What better way to let go of these items than to give them back in a way that was so powerful and symbolic to this time of year? I found an evergreen tree in my favourite place, the secret swamp, and I decided to decorate it with all of these memories I had collected this year. And it was so nice to be reminded of these memories, but to also place them back to decompose into the earth ready for spring. In the end, I was so happy and overjoyed. This little tree got some attention that it never thought it would get. Of course, you can recreate this with the items you find in the woods. It's just a lovely way of giving back to the life that surrounds us during this season. And this leads me to my last point, being grateful. With this past year, nature has given us a full cycle through its seasons. And what had grown during the spring is now back into the earth once more. There is such a simple way we can give back to honour this past year. And all we need is one word. Thank you. I said thank you to all the places that made me feel free. Thank you for the small things that made me question. And the big things that made me wonder. The flowing river that helps me to keep a tranquil mind. The fallen trees continuing their circle of life. And the ongoing change this place has had on my life this past year. Wherever your place is and whatever way you decide to give thanks, being grateful is such a powerful emotion and can truly make us happy with what's in the now. And thank you, Enchanted Ones. Thank you for joining me on my journey. All my love. Please let me know what ritual you like the most, or if there's something special you like to do for the solstice or Yule. I'd love to know. Bright solstice and Yule tidings, Enchanted Ones. All my love. Alwyn.